Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. And could some ticks actually give you a meat allergy? Well, today's video, find out more. So ticks actually carry a lot of different diseases. According to the Center for Disease Control, ticks can actually carry a variety of up to 15 different diseases uh, when they bite you. And so again, these can be harmful to you, your pets, a lot of different things. And one of the most common issues that you'll hear about is Lyme disease. And what this can do, it causes things like aches and pains, fatigue, joint stiffness, and the dangerous part about this more so than those initial symptoms is when it's left untreated because it can affect like your nervous system, lead to your heart, other different issues like that. So you definitely want to get that treated. The crazy thing is you don't really know if a tick is carrying these diseases until they actually bite you and they do give you that disease. So again, it's not the most exciting thing to talk about, but ticks can be a big issue because they do carry a lot of different diseases. On top of that, one new finding is talking about the Lone Star Tick, uh, a special breed of tick, and they actually carry a disease that can cause an allergen. It's called Alpha Gal, and basically it's a new allergy, and what it does is it can make you allergic to things like beef and pork and dairy, almost making you a vegetarian, right? So it's kind of crazy that a little tick bite could do that, but it's interesting where a lot of people are having this misdiagnosed as well. You know, most allergies, typical allergies, maybe like a peanut allergy or shellfish, right? Those kick in almost immediately, so you know, you know, that you're allergic to that thing, right? Um, but the dangerous part about this allergen coming from this tick bite is that it doesn't kick in right away. Sometimes it can be two up to four hours later that you'll start to see an effect from the bite. So again, you might notice that you've been bitten by a Lone Star tick. Uh, one, there's extreme itching. It's crazy that it actually in some cases lasts weeks or months when you're bitten by this tick. So again, on top of the crazy allergy that you might be infected with when they bite you, um, it's extreme itch itching as well when these ticks get a hold of you. Now, again, there's not really even any studies showing that there's a cure for this either. So um, some scientists have talked about that it might work its way out of your system after about five years or so if you haven't been bitten again, you know, by these same ticks. So again, you might be stuck with an allergy to meat and some of your favorite foods forever. You know, at this point, there isn't really a cure for this. So watch out, you know, prevention's the best thing that you can do, especially when it comes to ticks. Uh, again, there's several things that you could do. Um, one of them is going to be yard maintenance around your home. You know, ticks really like to hang out in tall grassy areas or again under things like leave piles or, or hiding places like that. So the more you can upkeep your yard, the better. Uh, if you have pets, keeping them on their leashes if you're walking in the woods or tall grasses. Um, making sure they have flea collars and tick collars if they're going out into the woods and grasses like that. And then you yourself, a couple things you can do to, to prevent tick issues as well is, you know, wearing long sleeve clothing, whether that's pants, long sleeve shirts, you know, hats, right? So hooded sweatshirts, different things like that. You know, ticks will typically um, hop on on your feet and then crawl up again along your body. Or again, if you're walking through tall grasses, they might you know, jump on your legs or your pants. So a couple of things too you can do if you're in a super wooded area, tall grasses, you can stuff your pants into your socks, you know, making it harder to have ticks access your body. You know, a lot of times they'll crawl around on your pants or your clothing and not get a chance to bite you, which is great because again, you can then just brush them off, right? You don't have an issue at that point. Like I said, though, one bite can cause these diseases. So you want to be very careful and thoroughly check yourself over, check your pets over, check your kids over anytime they're hanging out in the woods or playing in tall grass, different things like that. Because again, it can only take one bite. So if you can get those off of you before they take hold, all the better. So again, watch out, <laughs> you know, prepare yourself, make sure that you don't get bit in the first place because again, losing some of your favorite foods 
might not be the most exciting thing. So it's again, kind of a crazy allergy that these ticks carry. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And uh, if you are looking for a pest control service, definitely head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And if you're a first time customer with us, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information for $50 off your first service with us. So again, whether you have tick issues, other issues around your home, maybe you wanna set up just a maintenance program as well, whatever the case is, if you're a first time customer with us, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information for that great discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.